So this question looks like a diagram question. I say that because of the diagram that's provided here, the graph that we have provided here. So anytime I have a graph, I like to look at the axes and the title. So starting with the title, the title of this graph is income and percent of total expenses spent on programs for 10 charities in 2011. So a lot of things going on there. Um, and then the x-axis is the total income in millions of dollars. So that's very important as well, that this is in millions of dollars. So it's not for, that 4,000 there does not represent $4,000. And then uh, the y-axis represents uh, the percent of total expenses spent on programs. And we see our 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Those are our 10 charities erase that for now. Okay, so the question says, uh, the scatter plot above shows data for 10 charities along with the line of best fit. For the charity with the greatest percent of total expenses spent on program. So where is that? The charity with the greatest expense um, is here. This one right here is the greatest. So... <clears throat> For the charity with the greatest percent of total expenses spent on programs, which of the following is closest to the difference of the actual percent and the percent predicted by the line of best fit? So the actual percent is the percent that I circled. And let's just estimate where exactly is this? So it's higher than 90, less than 95 I would say it looks a little bit under the halfway point. So I'm going to call that 92%. So I'm going to say actual equals 92%. And then what is the, what's the line of best fit say for that exact same point, right? So the line of best fit would be, go, would be to go vertically down here. So to there, which is pretty much right on 85. It's a little above 85, um, but I'm going to just say, 85%, so equals 85% for the predicted. So what's the difference? Well, the difference between those two things is 7%, and therefore the answer here is choice B.